Hello, welcome to easy to learn. In this video, we will root Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus, and it will work as well on Xiaomi Mi 5S. In order to root the device, we will need to do the following steps. Install fast boot driver. Unlock bootloader. Install Android ADB driver. Install TWRP recovery, and install SU, to root the device. Here is Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus, that I will use in this tutorial. Let's start to unlocking the bootloader. I will be using Google Chrome. In the search area, I will type, MIUI Unlock. It should bring up the official MIUI Unlock website. Click on the link. Click the Unlock Now button. Enter your login details if you have Mi account. Otherwise click on Register New Account, which is in Chinese language. You can use Google Translator, or at the bottom, click English Language. I will create an account using my mobile number. Me has sent me verification code to my mobile number. I will need to enter the four digits verification code to verify and activate my account. Then, set password for the account. Registration has been successful. Here is my Miller ID. Click on Login. Enter username for the account. Now, I need to go back to Google search once again, and type, MIUI Unlock. Click on, Unlock Now button. Once again, click Unlock Now. On this page, you will need to complete, Unlock Your Me Device Form. Enter your name, phone number, and reason why you need to unlock your device. Me has sent me another verification code to verify my unlock request. I will need to enter the six digits verification code to verify my request. Review time can take up to 10 days, but most likely you will be granted the permission to unlock your device within few minutes, as in my case. Now, I need to go back to the MIUI Unlock page. And search on Google for Download the Mi Unlock tool. Click on the link. Click Download Me Unlock button. I will save the file to my desktop. Extract the file. Double click Mi Flash Unlock File to start the software. Click Agree, then enter your Mi login details.
Turn off the phone and connect your phone to your PC using USB cable. Then, hold volume down and power buttons at the same time to enter fast boot mode. Now, we will need to install fast boot driver. Driver's files are included in the description below. Right click the start button at the bottom left corner on your Windows screen. Then click on Device Manager. Under Other Devices, right click on Android. Then click Update Driver Software. Click Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Click Let Me Pick from a List of Device Drivers on My Computer. Click Next. Click Have Disk. Click Browse. Browse to the location of the driver, which is on my desktop. Choose Android Win USB file. Then press OK. Click Next. Ignore the warning and click Yes. Click Install. Now, we have successfully installed Android ADB driver, which is Fast Boot Driver. Now, the Unlock button on Me Software is activated. Click Unlock to start the process. As my device has been already unlocked, no need to repeat the unlock. Now, you know how to unlock your Xiaomi phone. Let's install Android ADB driver for Windows to flash custom recovery. I will use 15 seconds ADB installer. File is included in the description below. Click Y for yes and follow the prompt to install the driver. Let's download TWRP Custom Recovery. In your browser, search for TWRP. Click on TWRP website. At the top, click on Devices. Scroll down to Xiaomi. From the list, choose the suitable phone. I will click on Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus. Scroll to the download section. Click any of the download links. Download the latest version of TWRP Recovery. I will save the file to my desktop. Now, I will go back to ADB tool that I have installed earlier. It was installed on drive C. Copy the downloaded TWRP file to ADB folder. Then, rename the file to recovery. Click back to C drive. Hold shift key on your keyboard and right click on ADB folder. And click open command window here. Make sure your phone's still on fast boot mode. To flash TWRP recovery. Type fast boot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img. Then click enter on your keyboard. TWRP recovery has been successfully installed. Let's boot into recovery mode to verify TWRP was installed and working. Type fast boot space boot space recovery.img then 
click enter on your keyboard. Now, the phone is booting to TWRP recovery. As we can see, TWRP is successfully installed. I will just reboot the phone to Android system. I will change the USB connection mode from charging mode to MTP mode so I can transfer some files to the phone from my computer. I will copy SuperSU file and root checker app to my phone. SuperSU is a zip file that we will need to flash from recovery to gain root access. I will go back to ADB folder on my C drive. Hold shift key on your keyboard and right click on ADB folder and click open command window here. To reboot to recovery, type ADB space reboot space recovery. Then click enter on your keyboard. From the menu, click the install button. Then choose Super SU file. Then swipe right to confirm. Then Click Wipe Cache Dalvik button. Swipe right to confirm. Then click Reboot System. After rooting, phone might take a bit longer time on first boot. Let's install Root Checker app to see if we can gain root access. I will need to change some security settings to be able to install apps from unknown sources. Then install Root Checker app once again. To check root status, click the check button. Click grant. As we can see, my phone has been successfully rooted. All files used in this video are included in the description below. If you liked this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more detailed video tutorials by clicking the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.